Elia, thank you. Well, new details from the Capitol. Governor Polis issued six vetoes late on Friday, and the groups who advocated for those bills all session long not happy. Fox 31 political reporter Gabrielle Franklin explains why. Yeah, Governor Polis is rejecting some of those bills, calling them difficult or unworkable. But some state lawmakers, as well as workers, have more questions for the governor and feel let down by the rejection. I was gutted. I mean, uh, Governor Polis turned his back on the workers. Uh, he failed us. Contractors, educators, and lawmakers alike are unhappy with some of the six vetoes Governor Polis issued over the weekend. The Women's Democratic Caucus of Colorado taking issue with the fact that two of their seven priority bills were vetoed. One of those bills would have required schools across the state to meet certain installation and maintenance requirements for their HVAC systems if they want to receive federal dollars for their heating and cooling. The reason the Women's Caucus was Supporting the bill is because it has to do with families, women, children, and, you know, our kids' education and being in proper conditions when they're in school buildings and ensuring that they're comfortable and can learn that it's not too hot, not too cold. The governor said the proposed requirements went too far, saying in his veto letter, quote, schools and school districts that choose to access available federal funds for this purpose would be required to undergo onerous assessment and installation requirements using a certified contractor list established by the Colorado Department of Labor and Employment, above and beyond federal requirements for those funds. It definitely is a slap in the face. I mean, the workers are getting taken advantage of on a day-to-day -day basis. The, the bills we've passed in the past that he referenced in that veto letter were to correct this. If you notice, it was 19, 22, and now we're 24 again, trying to correct the things that were missed in those bills. So there's constant ways that workers are being abused. The governor didn't think this bill held the wrongdoers accountable, saying in that veto letter, quote, this bill would let subcontractors who fail to pay their workers off the hook do little, if anything, to prevent additional wage theft and penalize good actors who pay all their workers on time. So most of the sponsors of many of the bills that were vetoed were women. So the Women's Caucus takes issue with that aspect as well. But they do say that they want to bring back a lot of those bills that were vetoed next year during the next legislative session. For now, we're live outside the state capitol. Gabrielle Franklin, Fox 31. All new tonight.